I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. And we're just about ready to open things up. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 25-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He goes out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He scrambled. He's to the 40. Brought down around the 46-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. That'll make it second and four. He has some room. He's tackled around the 39-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. the 43 yard line it's second down he gets rid of this one here's the eighth play of the series get to that quick and it's going the other way He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First down, 10 to go. Ball of their own 47. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. out to his receiver and down he goes at the 44. And they'll get him in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Tisdale is back deep to return. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. About eight yards there on the scramble. That makes it second and two. Three, three, three. Tackle at about the 49. That makes it first and ten. Easy, 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 easy. 
He passes it. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Strike complete, he's down. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up. And that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Fires quick, he catches another, and he's taken down around the 17 yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. The 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. And they come to the line with a first and goal. Ball on the four. They'll bring him down at the three-yard line. Touchdown, Wildcats. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 86-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's tackled at the 26. Game of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Decent run here, right side. Game of four yards. That'll make it third and five. right running back's got it he gets hit out of bounds at the 35 yard line Marshall is waiting for the snap they get this one off and it's a beauty tackle at the 32 yard line The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Kentucky is up by a touchdown. He steps out around the 32-yard line. Quick throw, tackle made around the 41-yard line. Duffy to punt. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
The Wildcats are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Wildcats lead 7-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Roger, Roger! Max 22, Max 22! There go! Williams gets it on the counter. Got an opening! He goes down at the 48-yard line. Looks left, intercepted. He's at the 30. Not a good decision there. Why do he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. First and 10. Ball on the 25. Kentucky up seven points. And they make the stop at the 25 yard line. Hands off to the left and they wrestle him down behind the line. Complete and taken down immediately. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kentucky can make this a two possession game with this field goal. It's up and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brett, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread, or the pistol, and hurry up tempo offense, and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. And they got him for a loss. Loss of five on the way. That'll bring up second and 15. Second and long. Ball on the 20. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Out of bounds around the 33 yard line. That'll bring up 32. Five wide. Down at the 40. Steps out of bounds at the 46. That'll make it second and four. Run and he's brought down. Let's go, D. Let's go, D. That's good for a game of four yards. That'll 
That'll make it a third and one. get back to the line. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. That brings up second and 13. This is the eighth play of this drive. Watch the out, watch the out. Watch 22, watch 22. Hot. Watch the out. Here go. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He's on the run. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 26-yard line. Feeds it to the back. Runs it left for a decent game. Williams gains seven yards on that play. It's the 11th play of the drive. Sets them up for the first and goal. Two-score game, and they can cut that down here if they can get this one in the end zone. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. to his receiver, no good. Here's play number 14 of this drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Rose, and he's got a man, touchdown. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He makes the PAT. Carlson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Kentucky has a three-point lead. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. The Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he hits him hard at the 43. That's a game of 13 on the way. First and Here we go, here we go. Now he's scrambling. And he's leveled to the 38-yard line. That was a loss of second on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 38. Got it and brought down immediately. Four yards gained. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. Why in the world would the offense run a route short of the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. Duffy is the putter.
He makes it to the 25-yard line. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far this week. Well, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. That makes it second and 14. Second down and 14. Ball on the 21-yard line. Well, we're headed to halftime now, and we're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. 10-7, Wildcats. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Slings it, and down he goes at the 29. That's a deep four. That makes it seven and six. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 32. Robinson's on the tackle at the 32-yard line. That makes it third and three. Mike 17, Mike 17. Go alert, alert. That's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. run up the middle. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And they bring him down at the 21. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From the 20-yard line, it's second down. After a decent pickup. Gaining four yards. That'll make it 35. Last to pass. Next 22. Next 22. Here's the halfback on the screen. He goes out of bounds around the 12 yard line. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. 
Auburn is looking to tie things up. He gets it up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. He picks it up. And the safety's all alone, and no one's going to catch him. Touchdown, Tigers. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Auburn's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. The 10. Touchdown, Auburn! Man, that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. to his back and it's in and out of his hands here's third and 11 ball on the 24 yard line they'll line up with five wide receivers and a quick throw and he's tackled at the 45 yard line the offense caught him flat footed to convert that third and long you can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment the quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick throw, almost intercepted. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. From the 45-yard line, second down. Quick pass. Tackle right around the 40. With the tackle. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll bring up 36. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The Wildcats saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. 
Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still fourth down. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Got an opening. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Four yards on the play. That'll make it 35. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on their own 25. Three down, three down. Mike 17, Mike 17. I go, this is four. On three, on three. Motion, motion. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. And they make the stop at the 34 yard line. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you've got a big-time advantage over any defense. Makes it to the 44. Fights forward to about the 46. That's a deal of the run play. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. 24-10, Tigers. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Throws it in a hurry. Brought down at the 40-yard line. If you're the defense coordinator, you got to be frustrated with the way your defense gave up that first down. The defense has got to do a better job of recognizing the screen and then chasing it down from behind, especially the defensive lineman. They've got to see whether it's the quarterback or the offensive lineman that tip the screen and then help the rest of the defense be able to slow that play down and not give up that first down. Throw incomplete, one of his receiver. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Wilson with a nice play fake, fires it quickly, and he's hit immediately. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. Lost 
Drops the ball. Fumble. Picked up by the linebacker. Kirk, what happened on the option play there? Well, you got to give credit to the defense. They knew what was coming, and they came up and made the play. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Nice run there. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. That'll make it Three down, three down. Hey, check by 33. Easy, 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 easy. Over, over, over. Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 38. That's, That's a gain of 17, 17 on the ball. Right, right. That, that makes, makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Hey, check mark 33, check mark 33. Right. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 37. Stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still second down. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 42 yard line. Going deep. And he's got it. He's all the way home. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 88-yard drive. And the result, seven points. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Brad, I would anticipate the defense putting 11 defenders up close to the line of scrimmage, doing everything that they can to stop the running game and try to strip that ball away from the running back. An aggressive offense might try to take advantage of that with a play action, fake that run up the middle, and then maybe try to find a tight end, maybe downfield or a wide receiver. Just under three to go in regulation. on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of five yards. That brings up third and 12. Third down and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. Oh. 
with a quick throw. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. There was not a soul open there. He threw into double coverage because it was an obvious passing down, and the defense knew the pass was coming. Tisdale, the return man. Brought down at the 46. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at the 43. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's at the 30. Touchdown! will be tied with the extra point. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Delayed game, offense. He makes the PAT. Kentucky lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game. And if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through four quarters. Moves up, and the defense has got it. That's a loss of six yards. Under a minute left. And he's taken down right around the 38-yard line. It was time for somebody to step up and make a play. And boy, did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. 
Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. Once and all, going deep. That close to being intercepted. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Rose left, the running back's got it. Tackle around the 23 yard line. That's good for 82 yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 23 yard line, it's second down. Makes his way out to about the 15. They come out on an empty backfield. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Tackle made at the four. That brings up second and goal. Just inside the five. It's second down. Fires it out. Touchdown, Auburn! And he adds the extra point. the 25 yard line first down he's under pressure they bring him down the 34 yard line second down half back screen incomplete a bullet out to the right. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. So they'll get one last stab at tying this up. He goes downtown. The defender had it and then dropped it. Great game here today in a tight one. Auburn 31, Kentucky 24. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.